moisturizer. Guys, every time I'm getting messages from people telling me to upload the full video of the river, I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to post the video of the river because I don't own it. YouTube is blocking all the YouTube channels that are uploading the full video of the river if they don't own it. So by editing the pictures, light shows together with my voice, I'm avoiding copyright strike and getting blocked by YouTube. I'm actually trying to follow YouTube policies, posting the actual video via the YouTube protocol. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our picture slide shows updates on the river on Sterizer. TV teases. And on today's episode, we are staring at Lindy West house when Bangizo was showing Lindy where the pictures of the shoppers spending her money in a hotel, where Lindy was telling Bangizo that this doesn't make sense at all. When Lindy was saying that she thought Kwezi was different from her family, while she's same like the rest of her family because she's from the same blood. Bangizwe told Lindiwe that money is money because people will do anything for money. Lindiwe was so worried saying that she thought Kwezi valued their relationship. Lindiwe took out her cell phone and tried to phone Kwezi. Luckily Kwezi was inside that room that she pretends like it's a hospital ward. She answered the phone. There was the video call asking Lindiwe if she can see her. Lindiwe told Kwezi that her mother called her telling her the surgery has been a success. Kwezi told Lindiwe Lindiwe that it was very long but at least it's over. Lindiwe asked about her granddaughter. Kwezi told Lindiwe that she is fine, perfect as always. They continued with their conversation while Lindiwe pretending as if she knows nothing about the scam. Andile also greet Kwezi on that video call and then Lindiwe ended that call as if everything is okay. Going back to prison, Detective Mueti was interrogating Tutsu Mkwen when she was asking Tutsu about what happened from the moment he he walked in the house. Tuso told the detective that his story won't change, saying that he told her what happened, saying that he killed Angelina, that's all. Cobra told the detective that he wanted to be sentenced, that's all. Detective wanted to know from Tuso what led him to kill her. Cobra told the detective that he doesn't want to talk about this anymore. When the detective told Tuso that her job requires her to write down all the details, she wanted to write down what happened from the moment to moment. Moment. Cobra decided to keep quiet after telling the detective that it's all that he wanted to say, that he wants to be sentenced. Going to Cobra Tuso Mukwena's house, Dimpo was busy calling the lawyers when she said she wanted to speak to Sandra Stain when she was surprised and shocked to hear that Sandra Stain is 5,000 rand per hour. When Rahadi told Dimpo to, to try another lawyer called Busiso Pagate, the lawyer from the TV. When Dimpo was telling the second lawyer that she wants somebody to defend defend her brother Tuso Mukwena he's being charged those people ended the call and Dimpo got surprised asking Rahari that those people heard that she's talking about Tuso Mukwena and just hung up the phone Rahari told Dimpo to calm down and think about a second plan Dimpo told Rahari that there is no time to sit down Tuso needs to get out of jail Rahari told Dimpo that she heard with her own ears when she went to see Tuso he said he wanted to be sentenced for what he did Dimpo told Rahadi that she think it was trauma talking to him. Dimpo told Rahadi to find more numbers because she need a lawyer. And moving back to Lindiwe's house, Lindiwe and Bangizwe were still looking at the phone as well as the pictures that Kwezi sent her. And Lindiwe was angry at that time, saying that even Kwezi is a snake like the rest of her family. Bangizwe told Lindiwe that those people are not to be trusted, all of them. Lindiwe told Bangizwe that Kwezi will die along with her family. Bangizwe told Lindiwe that whatever she's doing, she needs to fight to get her money back. Lindiwe told Bangizwe that she will deal with the shoppers one by one and take Zolani's baby and raise her. She will show them some magic and teach them a lesson. And going to the tavern, Shabalala was telling Timpo that he is on leave, asking Timpo why did she call him to come here. Because when Timpo have got the parties and the weddings, she doesn't invite him. Timpo told Chabalala about her brother's case, telling Chabalala that she 
she need his help. She told Shabalala that she wanted the docket to disappear and she gave Shabalala the envelope full of money. Shabalala told Dimpo that she is too young to involve herself in such things like this. He continued saying that even if he was in the habit of taking bribes, which he is not, but this money is not enough because this will buy a pie and a bread. Dimpo begged Shabalala to make the docket disappear. Shabalala refused and gave Dimpo back her money, telling her that he won't be able to help her out. And he left Dimpo telling her good luck. Going to Bangizwe's scrapyard, Bangizwe was with his boys and Lindiwe, planning on attacking the shoppers. When Lindiwe was telling them that they need to be very strategic now on how they're gonna do it. Because the death of entire family cannot go unnoticed. She said these dogs are not important even if they die it's fine. When Melusi was going out, Chabalala was coming in. Lindiwe asked Chabalala how long did they know each other. Chabalala told Lindiwe that they knew each other from 1998 or something. Lindiwe asked Chabalala why he is mixing her with the shoppers. And Lindiwe continued. Lindiwe told Chabalala about the guy from Congo. If Chabalala remembers that guy. Chabalala told Lindiwe that he remembers that guy. Lindiwe told Chabalala to bring back that guy to South Africa. And moving to Cobra to Somukwena's house. Dimpo was still looking for the lawyers and their phone numbers. When she was calling her cousin Bonolo. When Dimpo was asking Bonolo about the lawyer that she found. Bonolo told Dimpo that she found the lawyer for Tuso, but Tuso refused to get help from that lawyer. Dimpo told her cousin Bonolo that maybe Tuso is suffering from trauma. Dimpo was so worried about her brother when she was talking to her cousin Bonolo. When Dimpo was begging Bonolo to please talk to Tuso and Bonolo agreed telling Dimpo that she will try and then Bonolo left Dimpo and then Dimpo went inside the house try to talk to Percy begging Percy to go to prison and try to talk to Tuso. When Dimpo was busy with Percy begging him to try to talk to her brother. Tuso arrived with Detective Muwiti and Tuso went inside his bedroom. When Rahadi was asking the detective if they came to fetch something, Detective Muwiti told Rahadi that the prosecutor decided to review the case and he won't be pressing charges against Tuso. Everybody got excited about Tuso's release. When Detective Muwiti told them that all the evidence shows that anyone in Tuso's position would have done the same to defend themselves. So Tuso did this as a self-defense. So it was the self-defense. The detective told the family to look after him because he's not okay at all. But she's hoping he will be fine eventually. Everybody thanked the detective when she was leaving. They all hugged each other and so excited about Tuso's release. And continuing to Lindy West house, Andy Le was talking to Mom Flora about Zanotando's surgery that was so successful. Flora told Andile that God has answered their prayers because everything is fine now. When Andile was telling Flora that he is also beginning to have faith. When Flora told Andile that she is pleased that he has faith too. Flora started to tell Andile some other things that the Bible says. And when mom Flora and Andile still talking, Flora received a phone call from Rahadi telling her that Tuso has been released. And Flora told Rahadi that's a great news to hear. Telling her that she will see her when she knock off. Lindy Ray was so angry sitting in her office when her phone was ringing. It was a call from Kwezi. When Lindy was asking Kwezi if they are okay, Kwezi told Lindy that they are preparing to come back. And then Lindy was asking Kwezi when are they coming back to South Africa. Kwezi told Lindy that she just got off the phone with the Metron back in South Africa. Kwezi was asking for more money from Lindy saying that they say they have to pay an 80% deposit for them to look after Zanotan telling Lindiwe that they will need more money. Lindiwe told Kwezi that whatever she need, she will get it from her. Kwezi thanked Lindiwe, telling her that she really appreciates what she does for Zano Tando. Lindiwe told Kwezi that she wants to do everything right for Zano. As soon as she feels better, she'll have the ceremony to introduce her to their ancestors. Kwezi thanked Lindiwe for everything she does, as well as keeping her promise. And they ended the call when Lindiwe talked to herself saying that Kwezi will never forget her. What do you think is her plan when she's saying Kwezi will never forget her? Let's check if she's gonna act on our next episode. And thanks for watching. And guys, I'm not allowed to post the actual video of the river. I don't own it, please. YouTube can block my channel if I can post the video. I can do that once or twice, even five times. But once they find out, my channel can be blocked. So I don't want that to happen. Please try to appreciate those 
picture slideshow that I'm posting. I've got nothing else more to do. Thank you for watching Sterizer TV teasers and please subscribe and hit the bell to be always updated about the latest TV updates.